Hey yo everyone, this is the Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another walkthrough episode for the game Xeno Saga Episode 1. Bitch, bitch be crazy. Huh. Use of cargo elevators for directed to the transportation of cargo only.
Why such a low number? I'll never know. Safety lock of electronics for confirmed. The anti intruder program cannot be act activated at this time. Also, lab number one. Oh, Chaos, were you uh, able to talk with Cosmo? No, she seemed to be asleep, so I didn't want to bother her. I'll try again later. Oh, that's too bad. But she was quite beautiful, even in, even asleep. Why, thank you. By the way, have you seen the commander? I saw the commander go into the maintenance lab. Just go up the elevator on the left in the hangar up ahead. Really? You're a great help. You're a great help. Thanks. Use the lift. Hello, I am in charge of maintaining this ship. Is there anything you need? I will sell you anything on this ship for cheap. I'd appreciate your patronage so the captain could repay his debt. It's just the parts for the eggs. Is there a defense to armor one? Or in terms of weapons, Vector Sword, Federation Army Sword. I got confused with the stock with equip. Buy a frame. By generator, restore F FHP. Yeah, I could use it. Thank you, thank you very much. I look forward to your next visit. I'm the hardest worker on this ship. I even installed the locks on the slide deck. But when I was cleaning one of the cabinets, I lost the disarm key. Oh boy, oh no. It should be easy to find it, though. All I need to do is press the circle button. But it's such a pain because the, cab because the cabin's huge. Oh boy, oh no.
On obtain coat beam. Man, you would have uh, thought that this, uh, that the curry would go cold. Uh, hurry, we bring the curry. Because uh, someone's feeling kind of furry. I was looking at her. At Cosmo? With a gun in your head? Oh, this. It's a bad habit. I see. Well, you are a soldier after all. I know someone with a habit like that. He's always carrying a sword of iron with a real grin plastered on his face. Don't you think that's dangerous? Uh, yeah. That's definitely dangerous. So this is the android that can take on the Milky. She sure doesn't look like it. Yeah. But, regardless of what she looks like, she's still a weapon. I suppose you're right. Before we left the Woglinde, what was his name? Lieutenant Virgil? He was killed by this android's battle down more than one week. I'm not trying to blame you. Logic, reason, they can bring about death. Happens all the time. I never thought it would ever be something like that. You programmed her basic logic architecture, right? Yes, I do not. I always thought of her like a dog, or more like a friend. I see. Well, I doubt we could have saved the lieutenant from that situation anyway. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I noticed you eat very neat. Uh, that's part of who I am. At least now that is. So, what are you doing on the world end Why, why do you ask? Just wondering. You somehow seem different from the other two men. The world task force was assembled peacefully. Besides, I'm a soldier. I'll go to where I'm assigned. Uh, Meanwhile, on Area 66, Rupin Sector. Thank 
going back to the subcommittee headquarters. What? Why not? I was told to escort you to the autonomous government of Second Yosha. I'm sorry. Those were my words. Alright. Now setting course to Milton Star System. I've received word that the 100 series is on board a ship headed for second notion. Well, that was fast. Once she's safely transferred to the UMN control center on second notion, we'll finally have a little peace of mind. If I had such a while, it would have been so much easier to perform the analysis here. We can't decode the protection in that reality here. We have to send her to the UMN control center located at the former Vector Transfer Gate control facility. That's right. The across the entire area room, she doesn't like you, both no good, and sealed off ever since that incident 14 years ago. So this certainly be kind of as a regular thing. You are the only one. Really outdo yourself this time. Oh, don't worry about it. You're absolutely right. By the way, do you really think the wide data is hidden within that realium? We have conclusive evidence that she holds the code to unlock the UNN transfer that we need to fill our sector. Aside from that, she's pretty much a mystery. We just have to open her up and see. If she doesn't have it, we'll be required to delay the Zohar project. How will we explain that to the council? Even if it's lost, we still have one other lead. Let me pull up my documents. This image was processed from the only remaining surveillance camera. The picture is unclear, but that boy served as your team's assistant. Judging from the time frame, we believe he was somehow involved with the Y data. Where did the boy come from? The records are missing. The only information we have is that he was 14 and studying at the University of Borneo. But even that's just second-hand information from his body. And he got into Borneo at 14? Must have been pretty smart. You don't know what happened to him? Correct. It's currently under investigation. If he's alive, he'd be 28 years old now. This research paper is on the secondary effects of the Hilbert wave. Do you think there's a chance he slipped into Vector? Back when Yusuf was still the Mizrahi Cerebral Sciences Research Center, Mizrahi's main patron was none other than Vector. It's certainly a possibility. There's no concrete evidence, of course. Dr. Mizrahi, please continue your investigation of this issue. Yes, of course. In any case, our first priority is to get access to the old Nota sector. Well, that's about it for, for now. Thanks for while watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.